friends, buddies, pals. Welcome to another video, it's great to see you. It's been ages. Well, it seems like it's been ages. Now, I had plans for today. I had different plans for today. Yesterday, I was gonna go to the Tongarero. I was gonna catch a brown trout. It was gonna be great. I was gonna make a video. You would've watched that. And today, I would've gone probably back country, done something else, made another video, and oh, we would've all laughed heartily. It would've been brilliant. What happened yesterday was... Is he gone? Might have gone. I think he's gone. It was a good hour I spent on that fish. This is just the story of my season, man, on this river. Hock them and lose them. Ah, oh, that stings. That spoke to me. Yeah, look at that, gone. One cast gone. Rainbow. Hey, get off. Ah, yes, oh, come on, come on, oh, this is getting ridiculous now. I hooked some brown trout for all of about three seconds and then I lost them all. And it's become a bit of an issue, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of gone under my skin and it's just consuming me. Why can't I land one of these brown trout? So, that brings me to what I'm doing right now. I am not going to the back country, I'm going back to the Tongarero because I have to get this done. I'm a little obsessive, I'm a little compulsive, I admit that, but that is the driving force behind going back to the Tongarero today. I've got wicked weather, a beautiful day, blue sky, great spotting conditions, and I've just got to get it done. Oh, before I go, one other thing. Do you notice anything different? That's right. This is a different truck. I have got myself a different truck. I have retired trucky number one. I haven't sold it. I couldn't bring myself to sell it. I just love her too much. So what I've actually done is I've given trucky to Elena and she's now retired. What I've got right now is my new truck. And I gotta admit, I'm liking it. Anyway, I'll check back in with you. First fish of the day I found in a bit of a tricky spot to be honest. Is he gone? No. Still there. Just ignoring me. Oh, now he might be gone. Got a funny feeling I just saw him go, which seems ultra spooky for these fish. They don't normally give a fuck. They just ignore you. That guy looks like he actually, like, legitimately spooked. It's not a new fly box, this is a really old fly box, but I've just brought it back into action. Um, and the story behind this fly box here is, uh, I actually bought this last time I was back in the UK, years and years ago, when I went back for my granddad's funeral. I went to the, our favourite shop that we always used to go and uh, hang out in. I bought it then and I brought it home with me and uh, I haven't used it for ages, but I just just bought it back out of retirement literally today. So you're gonna be seeing a little bit more of that in the videos from now on. It basically just reminds me of my granddad. So it's cool to have him along with us. Oh, 100% looked at that. 100%. Change of flight. That was a refusal. But at least he's look. Oh, he's just spooked. I knew I should have changed that fly. Fuck. Oh boy, these fish are spooky. What's that about? They normally just ignore you. Not a good start.
No way. I can't believe he ate that. I got almost didn't strike because I can't believe he ate it. This is the least eating fish I would expect to find. Unreal. And it's a legit eat. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, that must have been right in his face, man. Because he didn't move. I was watching him. Right about now, I wish I had the six weight. But we'll deal with it. What a wicked looking fish. Just keep on coming back. Ooh. Yeah, chunky. Heavy. Heavy, heavy fish. Big shoulders, big shoulders. Come on. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Huh. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, mate. Just putting his head down and just kind of going, going, going. I just can't turn it. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that's a legit hook hold. Oh, you can't get your head up just yet. Ooh. Come on. Oh, just can't stop him. Can't turn him. I'm using all the angles and the pressure I can. Turn. Now, head up, head up, head up, head up, head up, head up. Oh, yes. Woo. Oh, that's a tank. That is a tank. Dude, this is a tank fish. This is, whoa. Don't do it, Alex. I'm gonna give you a good look at this girl because she's a beast. What a cool, cool fish. Just an absolute tank. Oh, working. So this is like, oh, three trips, maybe six or seven fish hooked and lost. This is why I keep coming back. Easy eight, easy. Give me another look. She's just a beast. Look at that. What a cool, cool fish. Just awesome, just awesome. All right, I'm gonna get this girl back, eh? It's all worthwhile. It was just starting to feel like the last couple of trips. I spooked a couple. I may have like missed one back there. I'm not too sure, but it was just kind of turning into just that grind again. And I almost didn't push up this far, but I'm glad I did. Where that fish was sitting, it's a pretty classic place for you not to catch fish because it's so exposed and it's so open and so shallow, no matter how long your leader is. Normally just that shadow or that line flash or that noise from the line hitting the surface just spooks me straight away but literally like first good drift I didn't even see the fish move and that's why I kind of hesitated on the strike because I was watching the fish and as I watched the, the flies kind of drift past I didn't even see the fish move but then at the corner of my eye I saw the dry fly just dick under dick under so yeah must have been bang on anyway that's the reason I just lose sleep at night and just can't stop thinking about them because every now and then you get a fish like that eat your fly and you're left feeling warm and fuzzy inside. <sighs> wicked, 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 wicked. Day made. All right, found a couple of fish. Found a couple of fish.
Okay, change fly one more time. Ah, this wind is fucking with me. You definitely had a look at that. And just didn't eat it. Right, changed the fly and added a fly. He had a look, albeit briefly. Got him. Not the guy I was after, but the back guy, but I'll take it. Shit. I don't want you over there, dude. Oh, that's not ideal at all. <laughs> All right, well you're back on the, on the right side of the river, so that's good. with this because I finally, finally worked it out. Just a cracking fish. Look at the condition factor on her. It's just awesome. Just an absolutely stunning fish. These fish just are pretty much, they just look like sea run fish. I mean, look at that. Just a beautiful fish. Just stoked. Two for the day. Woo. cool it was super sick and actually like that was the smaller fish of the two that were sitting there i mean that must have been a good five and a half in that five to six range so that other fish was easily eight so yeah that was awesome took the little soft tackle i added i changed my fly then i added an unweighted soft tackle from um nz fishing flies i really really like it on a barbless hook really nice really subtle looks good in the water shit the tongarero brown trout eats it anything will eat it nice one like that fly that's just gone up a notch in my uh, in my fly box uh cool i don't really have much else to say just cool well believe it or not the original fish i was fishing to is actually still there i guess it all went on behind him so you know there got him Got him, got him, got him. Nope. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Nope. Oh no, not quite. Oh, this isn't good. wrapped up so this is not ideal especially for a fish of this size oh yes so this is easily my fish of the season 100 percent it's really really heavy fish absolutely massive across the shoulders and the belly 
and just a huge, huge fish. Um, wow. Oh, it's a tank, it's a tank, it's a tank. Look at that fish. What a beautiful fish. Condition wise, off the charts. I mean, you look at the. Look at that. Just an absolute tank of a fish. <laughs> absolute mega fish. Wow. Just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Well, shit. <laughs> I was right about that being the bigger of the two fish. That was a beast. Um, I mean, the weight to her was just awesome. That's, that's nine pound plus, for sure. For sure. And again, took that, um, took that little soft tackle um, I was telling you about before. Nice one, Reese. It's a good fly, bro. Uh, <laughs> wow, what a day, man. I mean, I might, I might call it a day. I'm pretty happy with that. Three really good brown trout. I think I can safely say I broke the Schneider nine. I broke that run of bad luck. And yeah, I'm stoked I came out and did this today. That was that was well worth it. Happy boy. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. I hope that came out on here well. I won't know till I get home, but shit. That was awesome. Yo, back at the truck. There's only one thing left to do. Oh, it's citrusy. I'm not sure I like that, but I'm going to drink it anyway because it's a celebratory beer. It was only going to be opened if I managed to crack the Schneider 9. There's something about these fish, they just they just get under your skin. It's had such a bad run. Working hard on fish, hooking fish, losing them just time after time. So, super stoked I did that. Cool. Right, guys, great to see you. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed today. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Tell your friends about the channel if they don't know about it. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, do me a favor and hit the button. Boop. Be really cool to grow the channel a bit more this year. Uh, well, a lot more this year. Till next time, have yourselves a great week. If you can, get out for a fish. See you.